They say if you want to learn how to do something, do it wrong and post it on the internet. How to make, or how I made, my first welding table that folds away. Let's get into it. I started by determining the length and width I could manage on one of my already established woodworking benches. Then, after transferring those measurements to a sheet of weld steel, used an angle grinder and cutting disc to rough it out. After that, I cleaned the panel off with some mineral spirits. Because the sheet was so flimsy, and to create an air gap between the wooden bench and metal surface, I got to work cutting out some 1 by 1 inch metal tubing for a reinforcing frame. Then, with a MIG welder, a 2575 split argon CO2 shielding gas, and a .024 solid wire, I got to work tack welding the sheet to the frame pieces. Not seen as a smaller piece of metal between the sheet and the bench that, for the most part, caught the weld heat of those series of welds. Once the frame pieces were roughly tacked to the sheet, I then ran a standard weld along the connection points of the frame. In hindsight, I wish I had done more to bevel the butt jointed edges to create a better well for the weld. With the basics of the tabletop done, I got to work on the hinges. Notice my first mistake on placement here? Anyway, I ground away the plating to reveal the weldable steel around the edges of each hinge. Then, after recognizing my mistake on placement, welded the hinges to the bottom side of the tabletop. Last but not least, I anchored the other side of the hinge to the top of the workbench instead of the side to allow the table to flip all the way up and down. And that's a wrap. Now friend, I know you're armed and ready with a million critiques, and I'm here for them. But in the comments below, if you can help it, I'd love to keep the discourse a little more on the educational side and a little further from the more stereotypical troll. Thanks, good buddy. Next time, we keep this welding practice up with a few of my very own redneck frisbee golf baskets made from scraps found around the shop. Until next time.